ladies and gentlemen, this professional welterweight battle is set for three five-minute rounds. First, he's fighting out of the B2 Digital Blue Corner. His professional record stands at two wins, three losses. His height, six feet, two inches, and his weight, 169 pounds. He trains with the Brawler's Den and fights out of Batesville, Mississippi. His name is Nathan Flawless Mitchell. And his opponent across the cage and fighting out of the one more Jim Red corner. His record stands, two wins, two losses. His height, five feet, nine inches, and his weight, 169 pounds, 61 pounds. He trains with soaring Eagle Jiu-Jitsu and Warner Fit Corps, and he fights out of Warner, Oklahoma. His name is Steve Ditsum Moore. All right, Nathan Mitchell in the blue corner. Stephen Moore in the red. I tell you, Nathan's going to have the range here, and we he loves to use that range, and he loves to keep it standing. Oh, man, nice one, too. And right here is going to be the key of victory right here. That's what I was about to say. Can Nathan Mitchell keep it from going to the ground? That was a pretty easy takedown by Steve Moore there. But we've seen Nathan Mitchell here a bunch of times, man. He's really good at getting back to his feet. So I guarantee you he doesn't try to sit here in the guard too long. He's going to try to sweep or he's going to try to uh, – he's looking like he's trying for the triangle. He's trying to have wrist control and get his leg in the inside shoulder of Steve Moore. But Moore knows this. He's like, man, I've been here 100 times. Nice good elbow. post elbow there yes. for Stephen Moore. Nathan Mitchell doing a good job of tying up that right arm and that overhook as well. The full can opener. He's trying to get his left arm free. Nathan Mitchell's really holding on to that overhook on the right side. A nice little punch there. Right here, I would go butterfly here if I was Nathan Mitchell, which he doesn't. And Nathan Mitchell's got, you know, he's got a peculiar game, Andy. You he know, does, it's, man. He he does. The stuff that he does is not what you would call, you know, textbook, like you know, jujitsu stuff. But what he does works for him. It really does, and that's. I mean, we we've talked about it before in that first fight with Shlomo Boyd, man. The way he kept getting up to his feet. Um, and, and, and that shows kudos to Steve Moore to keep him down because Nathan Mitchell's definitely hard to keep on the ground. But Steve Moore's playing a, a smart fight, and, and the guard is not doing anything crazy. I don't like his hands on the mat like that, his arms on the outside of Nathan Mitchell. But he's just a little peppering shots, opening Nathan Mitchell up to the ribs. Nice little elbow right there by Nathan Mitchell. Climbing. Nice, yeah. Nice shots, though. Looked like Nathan Mitchell was thinking about it, an arm bar or something there. And Steve Moore senses it and just stomps to that with a ground and pound. Nothing like some punches to the face to make a guy oh. reconsider their jujitsu. Yeah, 100%. And good job by Nathan. Oh, good job by Steve Moore. And now he's in half guard here. Nathan's just really content here. Like, he's not, there's no, like, he's not desperation to get up or anything. He's not getting beat up here. He's, right. just, he's getting controlled. He's losing the round. For sure. Right, just no urgency. If no. It, and that shocks me because we've seen that from Nathan yeah. Mitchell before. I mean, we've seen his face where it was covered in, I mean, just bloody, and he's still moving forward, still transitioning, still creating scrambles. But look, man, Steve Moore's no joke on the ground. As he's showing. 
Very dominant here in, in half guard. Dominant grappling here from Stephen Moore in your co-main event of the evening. Nathan Mitchell starting to move his hips just a bit. The he problem is you expose your face. Yeah, you do. And he's taking a few punches here. His corner is trying to tell him, hey, get to your right side, get to your hip. But Steve Moore is just neutralizing him, man. Just countering any kind of situation that uh, Nathan Mitchell tries to do. Anytime he tries to move his hips, he's controlling his hips. See, now if he sits up here, he's going to be, he could get choked right here. And this is exactly what's about to happen. Looks like Steve Moore thinking about threatening an arm in guillotine here, perhaps. Yeah, he is. Uh, Nathan's got the hand. Uh, now the right oh. arm is coming underneath deep. Beautiful threatening a Doris job. here. Yep, oh, this is going to be in tight. Yeah, I feel like this might be it. Yep, that's tight. Nathan Mitchell's trying to fight the hands. The Steve elbow. Moore's threatening yep. to finish this fight. Nathan Mitchell's tough. We know no, this, and he survives. Good job, Nathan Mitchell. Good job. But we know Steve Moore has that. Nathan Mitchell's always going to have to worry about that Dars. See, there it goes again. Yeah, it just doesn't appear to be the the perfect angle. No, it's not. And you know, a Dars, it has to be that perfect angle for right. it to work. And that does it for the first round. Yep. Dominating round by Steve Moore. Just really, I mean, controlled him. Nathan Mitchell didn't get hit with nothing hard or nothing like that, but no. great, great round by Steve Moore. A good takedown and never gave up the position. That's right. And if you're Nathan Mitchell, you have to be urgent about not ending up on your back in this second round. I'm not yep. sure why we didn't see any urgency like we have seen from him before to get up and out, but I mean, he just perfectly content to be on his back there, which feels like a mistake. 100% it's a mistake. I mean, that's what got him. That's what lost him the first round. I mean, if I'm Tom Show, if I'm, I'm telling him, use that jab. Use the, that jab looks good. Just angle out, circle out, and you know he's going to shoot in for the takedown. So you got to be smart about that. Nathan's got to be able to use this range and keep, and keep Steve Moore at bay and keep him in his range. And we'll see if he made the adjustment in between rounds. And of course, Nathan Mitchell, a bare knuckle veteran as well. He's competed for that organization yeah. two times. So that's the connection between Nathan Mitchell and Tom Show. There's a jab oh, that was Nathan a Mitchell. Oh! <laughs> Someone from the crowd says, oh, it's okay, you got two of them. Well, it's easy for you to say, brother. Much respect to the Oklahoma City crowd. They're animated tonight, oh, yeah. Andy. Yeah, they are. Got jokes, don't they? <laughs> yeah. All right. Fight's back on. A little inside. Nice little inside. Oh, ooh, that hurt. Oh. That hurt Nathan's leg. Oh. That hurt Nathan's knee. Nathan's hurt. Was yeah, it the that inside, the little hook inside. He hooked it. He hit the backside of the knee there. I mean, that just feels like such an, a mistake for Steve Moore to get a takedown when you know Nathan Mitchell can't stand up. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I would have keep kicking that leg, that same knee. Yeah, I'm not. But nonetheless, he is safe here. He's on top. I mean, and he was very dominant in the first yeah. year. So. Nathan's, but whatever Nathan's the hurt. injury is, it appears to be pretty serious because yeah. Nathan Mitchell is you know, not offering much resistance right now. Unfortunately, Steve Moore is on the back now with a body triangle. Can't quite see the angle here. Is Steve Moore working on the rear naked choke? Yeah, he's, uh, I can't really see either. Yeah, it's tough angle we're to see We're seeing the rear ends. Here. That's about all we're seeing right now. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even tell if Nathan's fighting the hands or not, no. if it's under. Looks like well, he I is. Oh, under this now. might be tight. That's, that's it. Yeah, I think this is going to be But how tough is Nathan no, Mitchell, he's not, man? He's not going to give up. I mean, they, he's going, you're going to have to put him to sleep. He needs to keep turning into him. He's got the. He needs to keep turning in towards the choke. Yep, he's got to turn in towards the choke. His How tough is Nathan him. Mitchell, man? So tough, man. That knee did not look good. No, Packer. No, and I don't. I don't understand going right in for a takedown as soon as you see, 
your opponent a wobbling. I would have kept kicking the leg. Right. I mean, finish and it if that he, way. And if he fell down, I'd say stand back up. Stand back up. Make him stand. Right. And I've seen that injury before, man, where you hit that inside leg kick yeah. and you cup that back of that knee. Mm -hmm. it, it, man, it'll, it'll tear the ACL, LCL. And hopefully that's not what it is. I mean, hopefully it, right. just, it just hurt like hell and, and that's what he was reacting to. That's, that's got to oh, be that looks like it's in tight. Oh, and Nathan Mitchell taps. And Steve Moore moves to three and two with a submission victory over Nathan Mitchell. Uh, yeah, I'm worried about that knee. You see a little swelling on the right. knee there. Yeah, yeah, it does not look good for Nathan Mitchell. Man. We hope Steve, he's okay. Yeah, oh yeah, Steve Moore, above 500. Has a yeah. winning record as a professional fighter. Three fight win streak. That's it, right? Yeah. So, I mean, he's on a tear. And he looked good tonight. I mean, Nathan Mitchell kind of looked flat coming out. Like, just because I say that, not no disrespect to Nathan Mitchell. He knows that we respect him. But he always comes out and brings the fight. And he kind of looked flat tonight a little bit. And we're going to pray that his knee's OK. And it just hurt like heck. And there's no serious injury to that knee. Just waiting on Oklahoma to get everything going. And I tell you what, we're going to bring it to our ring announcer, Lance Green, with a final decision. 82 Fighting Series fans, at the end of three grueling rounds, excuse me, your referee, Kevin Dix, has brought a stop to this fight. Two minutes and 43 seconds into round number two. Your winner, by way of tap out, due to rear neck and choke, Steve Gitsamore! All right, I'm here with the victor, Steve. Congratulations on your performance. Was it the game plan all along to take Nathan down? Yeah, I didn't want to strike him. He's too fucking. Sorry, he's too tall. All right, uh, dominant grappling performance. It appeared that he may have been a little injured on the feet here, and you jumped right in and got a takedown. So true to your game, you secured the bag. You're now on a three-fight win streak. What's next for you? Hey, man, I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm looking either August or November. I want to get back in the cage. I'm just trying to get these get these wins piled up. I started out on two as a pro. I knew that wasn't me. I knew I had to rethink some things. I changed, man. I moved from Minnesota to Oklahoma and uh, joined a new gym, and it's been working out. <laughs> well, your performance tonight was great. It uh, very much appears that the move is working out in your favor. Is there anybody, perhaps, in the V2 fighting series that you've seen that you would like to fight? No, man. I, I haven't really checked out a lot of people. I, I had a lot of respect for Nathan. I mean, dude's done uh, bare knuckle boxing and everything. I was like. That's a fight out, you know, I win that fight and that's pretty good. So for me, I'm just I'm just ready to go. Like I'm ready. whatever's next, I'm ready to do it. Okay, lastly, anything that you want to say to your fans here at attendance tonight? And I want to thank my wife at home. I want to thank my kids that are watching right now. Connor and Macy, Daddy loves you. Uh, I want to thank my cousin Jimmy, uh, Tim, Garrett for being here cornering me. Everybody at Soaring Eagle Jiu Jitsu, everybody at Warner Fit Corps, thanks everybody. I appreciate out all your help. Oklahoma City, give it up for Steve Moore. Well, that was a good outing by Steve Moore. Like I said, he becomes a winning professional fighter. Three fight win streak. He says August, November, somewhere like that, October, somewhere in the sometime in the fall, we'll see this man back in the cage. Guys, I am here with Stephen Moore, who just dominated the cage tonight, three and two with a sneaky submission. How do you feel about your uh, victory tonight? Oh, great. I thought I was going to get in the first. I honestly thought I would take him down and get the finish in the first. But, man, he's tough. I had that rear naked choke in the first time. I did not know how he got out of it. I don't know how he got out of it, honestly. I had it in. And then the second time I sunk it in, I was like, no way. So I switched to that other grip, and that got him. And what other grip did you switch to, to so just so, show the fans? I switched to the gable grip behind his head. I was trying to do the old school one, yeah, and he was doing a good job because he's so long. He's doing a really nice job of grabbing my hand and pulling it down. So I switched to the gable grip and pulled up and got the finish. So how do you get, I mean, that's almost like with chain wrestling. You know, you go for one leg, not work. You switch, go for another leg. Yeah. So um, how does 
it take to prepare for that kind of stuff? Man, I, I just knew that Nathan was a good striker. So, and I'm a, like, not to toot my own horn, but I'm a good wrestler and I'm a good jiu-jitsu guy. Even though I didn't start until I was in my early 20s, I, I uh, you know, I, once, I, once I started, I kind of stuck to it. And looking at his game, I was like, the only thing he's got dangerous is a right leg and a right hand. So stay away from that shit, take him down, do your thing. And, I, and it worked, it would, you know. And I heard you give a shout out to your wife and your beautiful family. How supportive is she and your kids? Man, uh, you're gonna make me emotional. Uh, this shit, uh, she does everything for me. She takes care of everything at home. Uh, the shout out to my mom as well, and uh, they, they take care of everything, you know. And for me to be able to do this and, and work and do everything else that I do, it's it's hard to do. And starting out one two, it was like, do I really want to do this anymore? Like, and she was the one who encouraged me, like, you're so good, you gotta just keep going. And I, I moved up a weight class, and ever since I went to 155, I've won every fight I've had. So. I think I'm doing a lot better at 55 than I was at 45. And what's the difference at 155 that you feel from being I was, I was cutting, I cut, I'm about 185 normally. So I was cutting about 40 pounds to try to make that weight. And it just, by the time I was fighting, I was like, man, I don't even want to be here. Yeah. I was like, I don't even want to do this. I don't even want to fight. So it, So what is your motivation and why? Because fighting, I'm mean, one of the other professionals that just came in here. You know, you guys don't make a ton of money right now fighting at, at level that you're fighting and you're always searching for that next call that you know to the bigger show what's your why and, and how do you stay motivated my why is someday my boy is gonna look at that you know he's gonna look at my record he's gonna look at my fights and he's gonna be like man that's cool like that's that's i can't there's no other real motivation besides doing it for my family and putting all the sacrifices and all the time that i spend at the gym and all the time i spend cornering guys and doing all that kind of stuff and i deserve it you know like, at this point i deserve these wins and i'm taking them well thank you so much for being here tonight an amazing job